Well, it's a Sunday. It should be a day of rest. I'm quite pleased with my Land Rover. It's come out quite nice. But bear in mind, it's going to be a three color camouflage. So I've only got the green on. And I haven't done the roof. The roof was a bit damp. And the crazy thing is, the last two days, look, condensation on the kind of Kevlar-y thick parts. So I reckon that's off the cards again for today. Now, my beautiful wife, little boss, she wants to go for a ride in a scimitar. Actually, it's not a scimitar, it's a sabre. And she wants to go around the town and get a pizza or something tonight. So I've got to do a bit of work on that and a bit of love. And I might as well, because I won't be doing much love on this today. It's damp. Now, unfortunately, her Range Rover um, shit itself yesterday when I accidentally put it into low range and it's stuck in low range. So that is a little job for me to do. Ah, hate working on cars. And my Range Rover shit itself and the ignition key won't turn. And I've stripped all that out and it's actually the barrel. Um, so yeah, so I've basically got to become a Range Rover mechanic. So here it blows, an L332 Range Rover. I love them, but they are not very reliable, if I'm honest. Mine's been a good one, but I treat it gently. <laughs> so, I'm Range Rover mechanic for the day. Now, I don't work on vehicles, but there's not many things I haven't kicked, uh, I haven't fixed from cuckoo clocks to snoring teddies. Um, so how hard can it be? Um, in fact, Range Rover designers, they ain't all that, are they really, let's be honest. And um, in fact, I'm, it's important to be confident. So I'm a god and they are just a single cell amoeba. In fact, the Range Rover designers from the UK are just jellyfish, and I am like four. So we'll see how we get on. Maybe I'm being overconfident. Let's okay, have a go. So the little icon says mountains and low. That means low range, and then you come down here, and there is the button. Now the button only goes that way. You go that way for off, and you go that way for on. I would have had off, on, but no, they want that way for on and that way for off. How confusing. So the first thing is to strip all this out and check that plug. And then it will be check the fuse. In fact, I may check the fuse first, which is somewhere in there out of a mixture of about 600. Then there's another 600 in the boot. And then I'm getting underneath and I'm checking the contact on the motor. Then I'm taking the motor off and I'm hitting it with a big hammer and I'm wiggling it and then I'm putting it back on again. And then I'm gonna put a match to it. Well, the fuse recipe said fuse number 37 so i had a look at it it wasn't even there well how can it go into low range if i never had a if i never had a fuse in the first place um so that's all a bit strange and um this plug here in the dash i've looked at that seems to be no corrosion or anything done up tightly wiggled it backwards and forwards shunted it in the forward and reverse slapped me with brakes on all that kind of stuff so it's not having any of that so I think it's time to go underneath. Uh, well, it occurs to me that this is the wiper motor, and what's it doing on the back of a gearbox, I do not understand. But anyway, the windscreen wipers still work when this is off, and I can't understand that. Other than that, it could be some sort of motor which pulls a gear backwards and forwards and selects high and low range. Now, um, I've checked the motor, and um, it weighs about the right amount, so that should be okay. And this thing here, this is left over from a condom when it's rotted away. I don't know what this is doing underneath here. <laughs> it's a big one. Um, one way or another, um, I've managed to lever the shaft and the shaft has come out a bit. And I've got this feeling that the sensor is in the gearbox, which tells me whether it's high or low, not in the motory bit with all these cleverly coloured wires. And incidentally, it says BMW on it because it's just not the original gearbox anyway. Someone's just noshed it in there because this is a Range Rover, clearly not a BMW. But anyway, um, I think we've um, I think we've got to the bottom of it, and when it comes to bottoms, I know a lot about them. Summer time when the living is easy. You won't fucking go on there, the bastard. I hate working on cars. Give me a tank any day. Cars, horrible things. Tanks, wonderful things. I would not be a mechanic. Well, not a car mechanic. If you paid me in gold, don't like them. Don't like them at all. I'd only work on me missus' car because I love her. No one else's, I tell you. 
There ain't enough money in the world to get me working on bloody cars. There's no reason why that won't locate, but it won't locate. <laughs> I fell off his mother. I lend him his jacket. Now he wants me trousers. I I was, <laughs> he's always wanted to be in my trousers, that boy. Right. So, little woman, are you ready to go out for a little trip? What are we going in? Well, this obviously. I've been washing it all day. Took about half the obvious. I think my zip's broken. Could I think you're being a little bit rude today. Are you just being a grumpy old man I by am chance? A grumpy old man. Yes. I accept um, your apology. Bloody bastard. That's how I feel. Right, if you get up on top, Adrian, I will hoof me woman up the side. You can grab hold of her and buy that pom-pom thing on the top of red. Give her a bit of a lift. I'll give her hold of her buttocks. That's why I'm on the ground. Look at that, look at that. I'll put a chair. You see, and he goes up that side. He's got a chair, he goes up that side. You go on to the top, won't you? Right. Oh. Oh, look at the way she stood on that cloth to keep it clean. Eh? That's the sort of woman you need. Now I think only one hatch is open, so you'll have to um, you'll have to struggle a bit with that other one, Adriana. Looking good. Okay, so we're going out in the new saber. Now this is the one that's got the fancy chain gun and the main armament that goes on gas and propane. So if you get anyone cut us up. We can give them a jolly good old dugga dugga dugga, dugga dugga dugga, with a big flame coming out the end. That should get their attention. Or would that be illegal? I don't know. Anyone know the difference between illegal and unlawful? Well, it's pretty simple. Unlawful is when you contravene a, a uh, legislated law, and illegal is a big, fat, sick bird. Are we having parrot pie for dinner? Tell you what, if he keeps making that noise, we will. Fuck. Hmm. Ooh. I wonder if you've got any indication. I wonder too. We've got side lights. And we've got headlights. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. Oh, One, two, three. <laughs> oh. Two, two.
is going on up here? Do we have a war or something? What's happened? What's happened? Why we are on Tesco petrol station? They are a bit thirsty. Oh. But on the plus side, they're MOT and tax exempt. electric on the forecourt. Nothing electric. dark poor Adrian nearly fell off the tank and she can't stop laughing disgraceful and that lady in Tesco's you can't use any electrical gear I wonder if she got her money back from the charm school